YouTube, what is good, my good people? It's your boy Mo back on the scene, back like I never left. And man, I just wanted to say it's really a beautiful day out here, man. Today's a a, a great day to to be grateful for the you know the things that you have, you know, despite the things that's going on in the world, you know. We we all blessed, man. We just need to get that out there and be grateful for what we do have. You know, be grateful. But with that being said, man, in this video I'm gonna be talking about is trucking worth it in 2022 but before we get into that you already know the vibes hit the like button hit the subscribe button and uh show some love in the comment box let me know what you think now let's get into it is trucking worth it in 2022 my answer to that will be you know it depends it depends where in trucking you actually your current state in trucking if you are in trucking if you're looking to get into trucking or if you're looking to get into a business operator so it just depends what category you fall into so i'm going to speak about three different categories um so the three different categories i'm going to be speaking about if you are a company driver if if it's worth it for that if you're looking to um start your own business in trucking you know become an owner operator um that's the second one and the third one would be if you are actually a, a owner operator and you've been an owner operator for like about a year. So um, so is it worth it if you're a company driver? I would definitely say um, for the most part it is because you really don't have much expenses for the most part, nothing really changed for you, you know, with the, you know, with the price of fuel and everything going on, nothing really is changing for you. So um, if you're a company driver, you're still doing your day-to-day -day operations and and nothing is really changing for you for the most part, you know. So on that behalf, if you you know you're looking to still get your CDL and just be a company driver for a little while, you know, as the market changes, because you know the market and every aspect, you know, real estate, stock market, trucking, every, every the, the market changes, you know, from time to time. You, you get what I'm saying? That's just how the economy goes. Um, but from a, a company driver standpoint, you know, it's definitely I would say worth it for the most part. It's probably more worth it now than it would be to you actually you know start your own company um which leads me to my second one <clears throat> if you um looking to you know start your own company i would say right now probably wouldn't be the best time you know not that it's not worth it you feel me but it probably wouldn't be the best time um and the, re <clears throat> the reason why i say so is that right now everything is everything is really high obviously you know the price of gas in some areas for these i mean for diesel excuse me is about in some areas such as about eight dollars seven dollars high seven dollars um but for the most part you know average is about you know 550 and um that's just one expense right now um if you're looking for your own truck right now if you're looking for a truck the prices of trucks are real high um the reason why i know is because i honestly wanted to do this company driving for about a year and which I'm currently at and I saved up a good amount to get a truck but it's just real high it, it really, it's really not beneficial for you to go out there and spend uh, spend your money on an overpriced truck and put you in a hole early on you know starting your business that's not really how you want to operate you got what I'm saying like yeah you, you want to you want to make moves real quick and you you know you want to be an owner operator but you need to make smart decisions not decisions with your emotions you get what i'm saying so right now trucks are real they real high and fuels at an all-time all-time high you get what i'm saying so so right now a truck that's you know let's say two hundred thousand miles um 2019 was going for like 80 90 000. but now that same truck fast forward that same truck you would think it probably would depreciate a little bit, you know, because it's a little bit older. You got what I'm saying? It's 2019. But now um, it's actually probably almost doubled in value. It goes from anywhere to 150000 to 200000 for the same mileage, the same exact, you know, model, everything. So that right there, you know, I wouldn't really say it's worth it if you're looking to get into the owner operator business at this current moment. This due to the market, you know. But I'm not saying that it's not, you know, doable, but, you know, getting into it, it will make your life a little bit harder. And, you know, when you're getting into something, when you're getting into a business, you don't want to get into it 
too far in the hole where it takes you, you know, a few more years to pay off, you know, your truck or your trailer or, you know, to catch up on fuel. You just overall to just get more profit. You get what I'm saying? You want to get into it, getting the, the fastest profit possible. You know, you get what I'm saying? While obviously being smart. Um, but yeah, for that's for the owner operator side. I don't really think it would be worth it. You know, well, it would be worth it. It would just be harder, way harder than it has been in the last couple of years or the last five or 10 years, you get what I'm saying? Just because, you know, fuel prices are at an all time high and truck prices are inflated so high. So you're paying for something that is really not, they overpriced for it. So with those two expenses right there, you're really going to be, you're going to dig yourself in a real hole and it will be hard for you to, you know, get out if you're learning. You get what I'm saying? You're still in the learning curve. So you're going to make a lot of mistakes. So I, I wouldn't think that's like the smartest way. You get what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't think that's worth it. And for the third one, if you are currently a, a owner operator, you know, I'm speaking from, you know, what I see, obviously. I would say that obviously you have experience in the game. So this is not nothing new to you. You know, you just have to be a little bit more strategic. You know, you have to move accordingly. You have to be smart. Obviously life is, you know, a game of chess not checkers you feel me so you just have to be more smart when booking a load you know um don't book loads that you know that's too far you get what i'm saying where you gotta spend a lot of money on fuel um don't book heavy loads you got what i'm saying where you're wasting a lot of money on fuel you got what i'm saying because it's a heavier load you got what i'm saying you know you're booking you know short loads and you're booking you know not so heavy loads so that's you know probably one way you guys obviously make it worth it but I know it's not slowing guys down that's been on the road for, you know, 10 years, 5 years, 20 years, you know, because they already used to times like this, you know. You just got to weather the storm and that, that it is what it is, you know. Good times don't last and no those bad times. But, but um, yeah, if you made it to the end of the video, man, I highly appreciate you. You already know the vibes. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and show some love in the comment box. Let me know what you think. And uh, most importantly, take care.